Okay, so the middle section um, of the Dreamweaver interface is known as the document window. And this is where the page is assembled, and we will spend most of our time working. It's where actually everything happens. So this is the behind the scenes code, this is the design view, and a reminder that if you want to see just code, sometimes I do, and just design, sometimes I do, um, usually I'm working in split view. Okay, and as I mentioned in the previous video, if you write something or bring in an image or um, do anything really, Dreamweaver, if you watched over on this side, is writing code. So uh, when I hit the enter key, it created a paragraph and I also created a blank paragraph in there. We'll delete that. But that's the paragraph. So it tagged what I did after I pressed the enter key with the paragraph. Um, tags. So um, when we're looking at code, we and or even design view, uh, frequently I will mention a thing called the tag inspector, which starts to give us information about what's happening on our in our code, and uh, as far as the HTML or XHTML markup, uh, HTML5 markup goes. Down here is where that tag inspector is, right here. So we have paragraph and we have body. And um, it, what it's saying at this moment, just for those of you curious, and I will talk about this quite a bit, we'll be dealing with this a lot, is right now the word you that I have selected is within the P tag, which stands for paragraph. The paragraph is inside, it is a child of the body tag, which is usually the parent for all the tags that you will put on the page. Everything happens within the body tag, and you can tell where the body tag begins by seeing the less than symbol and the word body and the greater than symbol. And you can tell where it ends, where it stops wrapping stuff, because you have a less than symbol again, and then you have a closing slash and the word body. And you'll notice here's another one of those. Paragraph begins, slash, paragraph ends. Okay? Something very important to note, this is very, very different than most programs that you're probably used to if you've done any graphic design work, is that you can't, when you start a document with Dreamweaver, you cannot say, I want the document to be this many pixels because in the web we talk pixels, not inches. So you can't tell Dreamweaver, I want this document, just right off the bat, to be you know, 950 pixels wide and 1,000 pixels tall or 500 pixels tall. You don't do it that way. The way that it renders, the way the design looks, all has to do with your CSS. So your HTML is just your HTML, okay? So you can look, though, at right here, okay? You see how it says download size, download time, and it that's talking right here, download size. Right now this file is one kilobyte in file size and it'll take one second to download um, and I don't know what the specs are, what, what speed it's evaluating that at. But right next to that you see 499 by 450. Well that is telling us um, the screen that we see right here. If I go to design view now you'll notice it changes to uh, 1025 by 450. So it's showing, it's it's emulating, okay, if your browser window was open f f from here to here, this much space, that would be 1025 pixels across by 450 pixels down. So that's what it would, this is what someone would see if they had their browser open that much. If I would like to, let me see here, if I would like to choose a specific size, depending on what I have going on, I, I can choose right here to make things look different depending on how the browser, you know, depending on the design and all that. So if you're curious what it would look like if you had a 1024 by 768 monitor or a browser, 
and it will tell you that's really 955 uh, pixels of real estate wide by 600 pixels tall. What would that look like if, it, depending on what's going on on your page, I can choose that and I can see, oh, that's what someone would see if I had it that wide. Hold on, let me see if I can expand this out if that lets me know. Nope, it might have to do with the content I have on the page at the moment. So as you're working you will be able to choose those especially once you get your design going and you can check and see what's happening if they have this or they have that. Now if I want to put more sizes in here I can choose edit sizes and I can add more dimensions in. If I'm curious how it's evaluating one kilobyte um, will, is, if for the file size it will show in one second. I can see here that it's evaluating it on these different connection speeds. So 56k connection, 1500 connection, and so on. I don't typically pay a ton of attention to the download so much as what the overall file size is. And I try to keep things as absolutely small as possible. Um, sometimes I'll take a glance at this, but mostly I'm looking, if I'm looking at anything, I'm looking right here at that. Um, there's a lot of dynamic work I do these days with things like WordPress, so I can't see all that information um, in here because of the way WordPress works, which is very different than what we're doing. So I. I actually don't look at this at all when I'm doing that type of development. Um, there's other tools out there to evaluate your download speed. Like Google has like a page speed plugin that you can check the speed, how fast your page is loading. So page load is very important. You want your site to be able to load uh, within five seconds for an average connection. So um, you know, we'll I'll be paying attention to what you're doing, and we'll definitely talk about how to modify um, your graphic size to make it smaller, that kind of thing. You just want everything to be as small and file size as possible at all times, okay? And um, we will continue talking about the interface in the next video.